tell me what you're doing. I am making quarts of chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Wow. It looks great. Big pot. I am making cheese and chicken quesadillas. This is our store room. Storage room? Yeah. So okay. we have two freezers, a refrigerator in here, uh, and then all our dry goods. Wow. Hey! hey. They, um, what are you doing here? Me. They discriminate against me because of my purple hair. They made me. <laughs> <laughs> you just got the new color, right? Yes. I told you, I had to go home and do it. That was just too bad. <laughs> are you packing now? And the what? Packing? Yes. Packing. Mm. I baked them all, I cooled them, and now I'm packing them. <laughs> wow. Hey. Hi. What you doing? I am packing egg casseroles. I made, packing the casserole? Yes, I've made egg casseroles and then baked them, and now I am packing them. You have been coming here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? I've been here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today's Wednesday, yes. Oh my god, four days. Yes, from 7 a.m. Um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 7 a.m. to whenever I'm done. Oh my We're god. Done. Came at noon after church on Sunday. You must be tired. I'm very tired and my body hurts. <laughs> I am making labels to put on the uh, containers after they're wrapped up. Oh, okay. So that way we keep track of what the family's what family it's for. Mm. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I know that you have been doing this for many years. Can you uh, share uh, how we started and how long has it been going? Um, my nephew Kellen knew a young man that. Uh, wasn't quite 30 and uh, was diagnosed with ALS and they started a um, meal train for them mm. but he was going through all these treatments and doctor's appointments so it got hard for them to be home every single night for someone to bring him a meal mm. so we started this meal ministry where we cook once a month mm. and they have like 30 days worth of meals mm. About seven years ago, because uh, seven years ago, about seven years ago, because the uh, family that we cooked for, when we started cooking for them, they found out that she was pregnant, and the little girl now is like kindergarten, first grade. Mm -hmm. So, it's yeah, probably about seven years ago. So, can you tell me about the, how many people you serve yeah. the once a month when you cook? How many families and people? Um, today or this month we're only at about nine, but we um, the last few months has been 12 to 15 families that we cook in that three day period. Mm. So you are cooking the meal for the family, mm -hmm. the whole one month meal, right? Pretty much. I mean, it's not exactly 30 meals, but they get baked goods, breakfast items, side dishes, mm -hmm. soup, and entrees. Mm. Yeah, it's like more than 30 people you're feeding. Right. Whole month, right? Yes. Wow, that's a lot of work. Okay. Uh, please tell me about the, how you organize the everything, the, all the menu and the shopping things. Well, we have a set menu, and so when we originally call the families, um, we go through that set menu, and um, they say yes or no, so then we make out a sheet first um, with everything they want, and then uh, after that we ask them if there's any family recipes or um, special recipes. Um, I'll ask such questions as, mm -hmm. if your son has a birthday, what does he want for his birthday meal? And we honor those kinds of um, meal, meals in addition to what we offer. And then we transfer it all to this sheet so that um, we know how many of each dish that we need. 